Let's just give it full throttle here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 170 already! Oh, hello people, this is Moose Carlo and today is a great day because I'm reviewing one of my favorite cars. Yes, believe it or not, even though this is all about sports cars on my channel, this Rolls-Royce Cullinan did something to me and I really wanted to drive it one day. And here, here we are. This is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan powered by a 6.75 litre V12 that runs so smoothly you can put a coin on it. I actually tested it. It's just so insane, this car. 571 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque and a lot of BMW tech combined with great materials make the best SUV basically the Rolls Royce of the SUVs as you can say it literally and today I will review it so stay tuned let's start off here at the front so people starting off at the front of the Rolls Royce Cullinan we have these beautiful headlights with the Rolls Royce in them Obviously the spirit of ecstasy, the Emily is here to greet us as well. Completely chrome brill, this is not the black badge, this is the normal Rolls-Royce Cullinan, if you could call it normal because it's perfect already. So much chrome on it, just look at that grill, it's so massive. And that spirit of ecstasy, when we lock the car, it will go in and sleep calmly inside of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. But if you unlock it, it will come out to greet us in a great way. It just looks so, so marvelous, the Spirit of Ecstasy. We've got these beautiful Rolls-Royce wheels here. These, as you know, the Rolls-Royce logo on them is magnetic. It doesn't move when you are driving. The RR stays straight, which is insane. At the front, we have these sensors here, which look like on my BMW M5. They are probably the same sensors, since we have the same 360 Park Assistant Plus in here, like in my M5, which is super, super cool. I feel at home instantly here. We have the beautiful Rolls-Royce badge here at the side. It's just so massive, this thing. We have this blue coach line, and then like baby blue coach line, giving us a little accent over this really dark ocean blue. It just looks so good, this car. Let me show you real quick what's under the hood of this massive tank Rolls-Royce Cullinan. So people, come check out this marvelous powertrain with me. Oh my God. 6.75 liters v12 engine by rolls royce oh this car it just runs so quietly it doesn't even move while it's running it just looks so insane do you hear and see this this is an actual cold start believe it or not now it's warmed up nothing is moving in here nothing this is so insane the luxury this will run so perfectly. I can't wait to drive this thing, honestly. Let's close that down here. So people, moving on to the side of this marvelous Cullinan. As you can see, we have more chrome down the windows. Here, the door handle is chrome. Underneath here is chrome. A lot of chrome on this non-black badge Cullinan. But I think it suits this car a lot. This is a Rolls Royce at the end of the day. And it looks super good in chrome as well. And check out this here, our door handles. You open the door like a normal person, you just open it, you just open it like this, like a normal person. If you have to shut the door, you are not like the ordinary people. You press this button and the door will close automatically. Just check this out. Moving on to the back of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan and there is some Ferrari in the background disturbing our pleasant Cullinan. This is the Rolls-Royce, we even have a little Rolls-Royce wheel pin or what's it called. Even that is a, has a Rolls-Royce badge on it, which is really cool. The coach line is hand-painted and goes until the back here. This is the back, more chrome, more everything. Let's check out the rear of this beautiful car and then jump inside. So people, check out the rear of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. The Rolls-Royce of the SUVs, literally. We have a little Rolls-Royce badge in our taillight, as you can see here. And we can open up the trunk, of course, automatically with our key. And then the trunk opens, but we still have a little tailgate here underneath to have a picnic or something like this. We press this button and then the trunk will open up. Doesn't that look super, super cool? And that trunk, the quality of that trunk is unbelievable and unmatched in the automotive industry. Leather, beautiful cloth here, insane quality. I could sleep in here all day. Let's shut that down with the little BMW button here <laughs> and move on to the inside now. I nearly fell right now. So people, let's check out the inside of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan and we will start off at the back. The door opens on the other direction, so you 
so the chauffeured person can get in and out easier. Just look at this. The whole door is covered in the most high quality materials. Aluminum here, even for our little pin. Leather, beautiful leather, aluminum. The Emily here engraved in leather. Leather, piano, aluminum, bespoke audio in aluminum. More leather, even in our door card, full with leather. Leather and even a USB-C charging port here in the door, which is absolutely insane. I didn't see that. Just look at it. It looks so, so good. This is just the door. I talked now 30 seconds about the door. Of course, inside of the door, we have an umbrella from Rolls-Royce. And check out this lounge here. The leather lounge. The Rolls-Royce leather lounge. And if we have a look up, you could see the starlight roof, which looks so, so good on a Rolls-Royce because Rolls-Royce invented this and it just looks so, so insane. Let's, let's, let's jump inside and have a seat. Obviously, because we are rich when we are sitting in the back of a Cullinan, we press the door button and the door will shut automatically. So now I'm inside of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan and oh my God, this leather here. Wow, this is out of this world. And just have a look up, just have a look. Just have a look at the ceiling. It looks so, so good, doesn't it? The ceiling looks absolutely superb. I love it. We even have shooting stars in here. We just have to find them. But people, let's move on to the front and then take it out for a drive. I love the accent of the dark blue leather and the light blue leather with the Emily here engraved. And this is joystick here is for our mirrors. Absolutely insane. Let's jump inside. Kalin and Dorsel greeting us. And these lamps, wolf, beautiful floor mats. Oh my God. Let's jump inside of this Rolls Royce Kalinen with a beautiful star headliner, which is currently off. Since we are in a Rolls Royce and not in any other car, we close the door with a button here. And I will now show you the star line headliner because I've teased you with it. Once I start up the engine, we will get the Starliner. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, looks so cool. Quality and material wise, this is simply the most luxurious interior in the world. This leather feels like, oh my God, like heaven. Also leather up here, Cullen and clock, which is hard to read from, <laughs> from the driver's seat, but who cares? It's a Cullen and clock. Look at that big fat leather Rolls Royce Cullen and seat beautiful star headliner even the sunshade is completely covered in leather quality wise this interior is unmatched everything is high quality aluminum or something like this we turn the air to soft not medium not low like in any other car we turn it to soft and the turning of this wheel is so soft it's unbelievable actually it's so so nice i've currently set it to the lowest setting when we go into the camera we will get the camera we know out of the BMW M5. This is basically the BMW infotainment system. Anyone who had a car like this will instantly notice it. But I love that infotainment system. I don't mind it at all. This is basically like in my BMW M5. So people, let's start driving the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. You don't even feel that it goes on. I can't wait to drive this massive, beautiful, luxury SUV. <laughs> sports utility vehicle i can't wait to drive this massive super luxury suv so let's just go we pull it towards us and then we go down and now we are in drive and we are actually moving a rolls royce cutting in oh my god the steering is so light what is this we have a power reserve instead of rpms basically if we have 100 percent power reserve we still have 100 percent of the power and yeah and we if we have zero percent power reserve that means we have 0% power left. Basically, we are flooring it. Oh, what a car this is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, people, so people, let's drive the Rolls Royce Cullinan. I'm not feeling anything. The indicator sounds so luxurious. The pull, oh my God, this is gliding. This is like a sailor ship. Oh, people, driving a Rolls Royce Cullinan is truly a joy and a bless. Like, what? What SUV feels like this? I'm not hearing anything from the outside world. I'm not even hearing the V12, to be honest. And it's just so nice. Oh my God. It's just gliding away in pure luxury. This Rolls Royce Cullinan is just gliding through its way like a boat. The V12 is just gliding with so much ease. Oh my God. And you are not feeling like you are driving a big car because the steering is so perfect. You are feeling like you're actually 
driving a small car. You are feeling like you are driving a small car in the Rolls Royce Cullinan. This road here is not the best. I am not feeling anything. Oh my goodness, people. I love the Rolls Royce Cullinan. We are now going on a little autobahn stretch to just floor it and see what happens. How, how you glide your way up to top speed in the Rolls Royce Cullinan if we are able to hit it. But if not, it doesn't even matter because we are in a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. <laughs> this is just, that Rolls-Royce did an SUV is nearly as, is, is perfect, it's just perfect. Like, it's, it's the same perfection like um, them doing an electric car, the Spectre. Because Rolls-Royce and electric is just perfect. Look at that V12. It, it feels like a perfect electric car and Rolls-Royce and this SUV is also just a perfect combination. I just love it to be completely honest. Let's give it full throttle here. Whoa, this thing actually moves. Whoa, I did not expect that. This thing glides. It doesn't move, it just it just glides. It's so perfect, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Oh my goodness, people. Like, what do you want more from a car? Is it worth the 400,000 euros? It's a lot of money, of course, but I'm getting so much car. Imagine doing a long trip in a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Imagine. Imagine just going a 600 kilometers trip with a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Oh my goodness, what is better in this world than this, to be honest. It feels like you expect it to feel and the seat is so comfy and everything and the steering is so light. You don't even care about how big the car is because this steering is from heaven, to be completely honest. Can't believe I'm actually moving a Rolls Royce right now. But here we are, we are moving a Rolls Royce, full throttle. It just glides, you don't feel the gear shift at all. It's just, it's just, it feels like an electric pull. You don't feel the gear shift at all. The thing just moves, which is insane. 6.75 liters V12. Wow, what a car. There is nothing better than this. There is nothing better than this. You can't tell me there's something better. You can't convince me. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely insane. Oh my goodness. I love the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. <laughs> Let's just give it full throttle here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 170 already? You're not supposed to be that fast, dear Cullinan. You are super fast. Wow. This is insanity and you are not feeling anything. You're just starting to move. You are not feeling anything. Also, the brake paddle has such a smooth feel to it. Absolutely insane, this Rolls Royce Cullinan. Even when you drive it sporty, the Rolls Royce Cullinan will make you happy because it does it in so much ease. What can I tell you people? Everything, the steering wheel, it feels so satisfying. This whole car feels so satisfying. This is what you expect from a Rolls Royce. Even the, the what to call the roof liner is in leather. Oh, I am in love. Imagine this as a daily driver. What is better than this? Clearly nothing. This is only possible in a Rolls Royce SUV for 400,000 euros. Just the way you are gliding like to from like zero to 70, it's just so good. It's just so unique. It feels, the torque, it's just undescribable. It's literally like driving a yacht. You can see the spirit of ecstasy lifting and stuff. The brake pedal has such a smooth pedal feel. I don't have to press it really. When these brakes are working proper, they are doing a proper job, but you don't feel it. Let's now go onto the autobahn here, completely smooth, set our indicator to the left lane, because that's where the Cullinan belongs. Even if it only is driving 120, it belongs onto the left lane. Full throttle. You can hear it and you can see it move and you can feel it. But it just feels like a different way of transportation. It doesn't feel like giving full throttle in a car. 
it feels like something else. It feels like riding on a cloud. Uh, this is perfection, ladies and gentlemen. We also don't have any modes here, no sport mode or anything like this. It's just get in and drive. And this is how the Cullinan should be. I'm literally just, um, it's such a big tank of an SUV. The Audi Q8 or the BMW X5 look like a small, like a small kid's car next to the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, which just shows you into perspective, which just puts you into perspective how big this car actually is. And, and you are not feeling anything of it. You are not feeling anything of it. It doesn't even feel like I'm touching the brake. It doesn't even feel like you, I have to put any uh, brake input or something like this to brake this car. Who are you? It's weird to describe how this thing drives because 571 horsepower and the thing pulls and the numbers are climbing in the gauge, gauge cluster but I am not feeling anything. It's just numbers climbing and you sit here and ride on your cloud. It's so insane to be honest. It's so insane. This car is just the way of luxury and I will demonstrate you the ease of driving this car, the benefits of driving this car right now here in this circle. Just look at this. Brake, I'm not even pressing the pedal. It's just so soft, so smooth. Now check this out, one finger, check this out. Do you see this? I'm moving this Rolls-Royce Cullinan with one finger. Do you see this? It's so insane, it's so insane. And let's see how the Rolls-Royce Cullinan will perform on this road. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just see how the Rolls-Royce Cullinan will perform on this road here, I'm sorry. Oh, that sounded nice. This road here is good, but it will get worse. And I want to see how the Cullinan will drive over the bad road and just how it performs there. Because if it goes well over that worst road in the world, it's just the best SUV in the world. Completely honest. Oh my God, this is actually insane. I'm driving with 50 kilometers per hour here. This is literally the worst road in the world. And the Rolls-Royce Cullinan is just driving over it with complete ease, like nothing's happening. And with 40 kilometers per hour, I'm not going like with 10 or 15, with complete ease. I'm not hearing any stone wobbling up or something like this. I'm just passing here through to end this review. So people, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. If you did, please subscribe and leave a like. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, goodbye.